Howdy folks, uh, Dino here for GUE TV uh, and I'm here with uh, Todd Kincaid, the uh, Director of Project Baseline. Todd's just wrapped up his presentation out on the, uh, on, on, the, on the floor there, which was really well received. And Todd, look, listening to your presentation, I was struck by, I think about a business background and uh, Peter Drucker, uh, his famous uh, saying that if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And that almost is like a metaphor for your charter of, you know, uh, explore, document, protect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the bottom line is, is that, that everything that happens underwater, if, from the perspective of the vast majority of the entire world, is out of sight, out of mind. Right? And so we're not measuring anything. In, in the absence of measurement, you know, you can't come up with a way to, to engage and change it. Right? So we know that the underwater world is declining. We can't do it. So really our, our metaphor or our, our mantra is explore all divers you know i think all of us in the end of the day become a diver because we want to explore the underwater world in some capacity some people will go in three you know miles in, in a cave but other people are just exploring the very shallow parts of the ocean that, that are right there easy for them to do but it's all exploration for the people that are doing it um, document really what we decided with project baseline was hey what we need divers to do is just adapt their dive just a little bit to record what you see, to make it more than a memory, and then finally protect. Really, that's just a, a metaphor for sharing it with the world. Yeah. So um, it's it's sort of a, an evolution of what started with the WKPP and became GUE, and now it's the same driver with Project Baseline that we have this unique opportunity to go where other people can't go and bring that information back, whether it's data, whether it's photographs and video, and share that, and, and you know, uh, as you've done in the past with WKPP, even shape policy and make meaningful changes. It's not just for taking pretty pictures, it's for effecting real change. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So Project Baseline was really born from, from our work with the WKPP and Wakala Springs. So that was about almost 10 years of effort where, that I was directly involved with. And it started as exploration, you know, divers wanting to explore the caves of the Woodville Karst Plain. Uh, and the, 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 the big taco there was Wakulla Springs, right? So everybody wanted to go and see how, where Wakulla is getting its water. Um, once we started doing that, then there was a, it was like an organic uh, transi transition to, basically we were asked to share videos at a presentation one night, and we shared some of our videos people were overwhelmed because nobody that lived in Tallahassee even knew that they were on top of these kind of features. And so once that then that snowballed into more and more presentations along the way, uh, Global Underwater Explorers, you know, was, was born and the, the training and the push for exploration and conservation. Uh, and then over those 10 years, that, that, that engagement from the divers, that sharing what we saw I firmly believe that's what inspired the, the scientists and the government to become more interested and then the collaborations that we engaged in for all of those 10 years and then finally to change, you know, to $200 million investment by the city of Tallahassee to upgrade their wastewater treatment facility and as a result, the water, is, it's not that Wakulla is the same as it was, in, uh, you know, in the, its original state. It's definitely not pristine, but it is demonstrably better and healthier now than when before we got engaged. Right. And seeing that, that was, it was like an aha moment. That, yeah. That's what we can do. That's yeah. what we have to offer um, as global underwater explorers. And then, of course, if we really want to change the change the world, we have to realize that. We can't just do it as Global Underwater Explorers. We have to do it with the, the broader community of divers engaging with the broader, the whole community of the people that'll never see or experience what's going on under, underwater. And to, to that point, Todd, um, I mean, you just mentioned a little bit of history of the WKPP. There's very few people, even technical and cave divers, that could participate in the WKPP. But with Project Baseline, I mean, that's open to any yeah. diver, not even a GUE diver. You don't need to be a GUE diver to contribute to Project Baseline. Yeah. And uh, if you can take a picture even, I mean, a picture's worth a thousand words. It's yeah. the same, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. You don't have to be uh, a technical diver. You don't have to be a GUE diver. Uh, you don't have to be a super experienced or skilled diver. Really what we're trying to do is get the, there's a debate as to how many active divers there are in the world. I've heard 6 million, I've heard 20 million. Hey, 
what you really hear is million, right? There's a lot of divers around the world. We want you to get engaged. We want you to make your dive count for something more than memories. We want you to contribute it in a way that can affect positive change for the environment that I know all of us want to preserve, right? Nobody wants to dive in a devastated environment. Nobody wants to do that, right? And, and what we do unconsciously is we keep traveling farther and farther and farther away to seek these places that used to be in our backyards, right? So, um, you know, if we, if it's unreasonable to expect that in the absence of some change, uh, that there'll be anything left for our kids or our kids' kids. Right. You know, Albert Einstein said that that um, uh, that. What did he say? Albert Einstein was Tech One. Albert, yeah, he was. Tech Albert one. Einstein was Tech One. No. Guys, how about that? <laughs> but uh, he said that to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result is insanity, right? And that's what we're at right now. Is we expect that that without that that the, the government agencies that that call themselves the environmental protection agencies can take care of it. Clearly, they cannot. Right? So it's going to require pub the public to become more engaged. But that's our overall motivation and our overall goal is to get people engaged, get people to subjugate a tiny portion of their dive to a bigger, broader agenda. Right. And I think that's a really important point because it's just something that experienced divers could, could contribute at, at a level of getting you know deeper or further back or right. whatever. But it, uh, even the most basic diver, a newly qualified open water diver, I mean, there are, you know, there's, there's things that they can do. There's like a prescribed, you know, yeah. number of things like it's easy for them. To, it's, you've made it easy to contribute. Just tell us yeah. a couple of things that, that, well, that they can do. At, at the simplest form, right? At the simplest form, we ask you to do just a few basic things. Number one, uh, get engaged, right? Decide to get yeah. engaged. Number two, take a picture, right? Number three, to make that picture focused on the environment. Not your body, not your cool gear, not any of this other stuff, but on the environment, a piece of the environment that you care about. Uh, then try to make that picture reproducible. In other words, maybe you take a series of pictures, but make it so that you can come back at some point a year later and take the same series of pictures or a similar series of pictures. That way we can see what's happening over time. Record the location, okay? You can do that with a GPS, you can do that with Google Earth. You can do that by taking a picture of the nav station yeah. of the captain on his boat, right? Get him to smile, take a picture, and you don't even have to tell him you're taking a picture of the nav station, right? So, um, and then uh, along the way, maybe collect a couple of parameters that you're collecting anyway and that maybe you don't even know you're collecting, like the water temperature, right? Or making an estimate of the visibility. And then send that information to us at Project Baseline. We will get it uploaded into our database. We'll reach out and communicate with you so that you can see what you've contributed uh, to our, our effort. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well, um, that's a, a, a bit of a short recap of uh, what you missed today. But if you're in the area, don't miss Todd's doing a full presentation on this on Friday, right, yep. Todd? Yep, here, Friday. At, here at DEMA. In the meantime, check out projectbaseline.org. Uh, Todd, thanks for your time. Signing out now and keep your eyes peeled for further videos from GUE TV here at DEMA.